Looking for your first or next dog, but you don't want one that is of the larger breeds? Then look no further because a Chihuahua is the right dog for you. Today, we'll give you not one but seven different types, including long-haired Chihuahuas. Yes, you heard that right. There are seven different types of Chihuahuas. And if you haven't owned one before, then all of them might have looked alike to you, which is a mistake that many of us make. Rest assured that at the end of this video, you'll be able to distinguish a long-haired Chihuahua from a short-haired Chihuahua. But before we dive into the world of Chihuahua dog breed types, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get the latest updates from us. Also, make sure to check out our channel. We upload new content weekly about dogs. So without further ado, here are the 7 types of Chihuahuas. Number 1. The Short-Haired Chihuahua. Also known as the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, this type is actually one of the official breeds recognized by the American Kennel Club or AKC for short. Short-haired Chihuahuas are originally from Mexico and have been around since the 5th century during the Mayan civilization. You can easily spot how their coat is close to the body, soft in texture, and is glossy. It is also notable that short-haired Chihuahuas have less hair on their ears and heads, while more hair is found at their necks. There's no doubt that pet owners will have less trouble with Chihuahua grooming and cleaning up in the house. But with such ease for owners comes the fact that these chihuahuas are more likely to get cold in low temperatures and weather. So, make sure to grab, or knit, them a warm sweater. Short-haired chihuahuas typically weigh around 1 to 3 kilograms and measure around 15 to 23 centimeters at the withers. Because of their adorable size, they belong to the toy group and are popular contestants in dog show rings. Not only are they good company, but they are also smart and adaptable to extensive puppy training method. As for their personality, short-haired chihuahuas may act shy and nervous around strangers, but they will surely form a great bond with their owners. You'll be thrilled to know that they are overly affectionate, lively, and ever so curious little doggos. Number 2. If there is a short-haired type, of course, there is the long-haired chihuahua. The second and last type of recognized Chihuahua breed is the long-haired Chihuahua, also known as the Rough Coat Chihuahua. Chihuahuas of this type may have either a slightly wavy or flat coat that is just oh so soft to the touch. They have a full long plume-like tail and have fringed hair on their cute little ears. You can also see a large ruff around their necks and feathering on their legs and feet. Now, all of these features make them incredibly cute but make no mistake. Those same cutesy traits will demand more grooming and upkeep from you. In addition, it can take up to three years for the coat to grow fully and luxuriously. So surprisingly, long-haired chihuahuas shed as much as you would expect. The AKC recommends grooming this type only to give them a neat appearance. Weekly brushing is an excellent idea to maintain their coat and will surely make your little one love you even more. And, of course, it would be a great bonding session for both of you. You can also see long-haired chihuahuas in different colors and body types. They usually weigh between 1.8 to 2.7 kilograms and measure about 15 to 23 centimeters. Like short-haired chihuahuas, long-haired chihuahuas are descendants of Mayan dogs from South America and the Tequichi dog family, kept by the Toltec people of Mexico, all the way back in the 9th century AD. Some historical records even link Christopher Columbus with long-haired chihuahuas and how he apparently brought this breed back to Europe. Eventually, these chihuahuas became popular in America, where they were first called Texas or Arizona dogs. Number 3. The Applehead Chihuahua. Now that we've discussed the official types of chihuahuas, we can move on to the other types based on their head shape. As the name implies, Applehead Chihuahuas have heads that are shaped like an apple. They have a large head in relation to their small body size. Fun fact. Did you know that an Applehead Chihuahua is the only dog breed born with a soft spot on its skull? This part is actually similar to human babies and is known as malaria. Malaria or an incomplete skull is first and foremost not a defect. It simply occurs to help mommy doggos to give birth to their big-headed puppies. The malaria is likely to close after three to four months. Applehead chihuahuas also have a 90-degree sloping forehead which is the point that connects their cute button muzzles to their foreheads. After being registered by the AKC back in 1908, these chihuahuas became Hollywood stars themselves and became a popular sensation among families. Number 4. The Deerhead Chihuahua. The Deerhead Chihuahua is called a deerhead because of its resemblance in shape to that of a deer. The deerhead is more elongated than that of an applehead and also has a longer, narrower snout. 
A deer head's top is less prominent and more slanted and they typically have a longer body and longer legs than the apple head, but not always. The deer head is not considered a favorable trait within the dog show community as they do not meet the breed standards, but it is a desirable trait for some people and many breeders purposefully breed for the deer head look. They are usually healthier with fewer genetic problems. Number 5. The Pear Head Chihuahua. Pear Head Chihuahuas are a rare breed of Chihuahua. Unless you are a Chihuahua breeder, you are unlikely to hear this description since the phrase is highly specialized. The head of a pear is similar to that of a deer, but it is more pear-shaped, as the name implies, with a flatter skull and a bigger, more prominent snout. Pear head chihuahuas can be rather big for the breed, and the feature is most commonly seen when an apple head chihuahua is crossed with a deer head chihuahua. Even if they don't have the ideal appearance, they are still chihuahuas. It does not appear to be a dominant characteristic, since they produce gorgeous puppies when mated to an outstanding match. Number 6. The Teacup Chihuahua. Teacup Chihuahua is a popular marketing slogan used by breeders to differentiate their chihuahuas. While the term teacup chihuahua may be appropriate for little chihuahuas, there is no such thing as a teacup chihuahua. This term merely refers to a very small chihuahua. Chihuahuas can weigh anywhere from 2 to 8 pounds, although size is not a feature that can be bred for, although many have tried and are still trying. It is somewhat misleading for a breeder to use the term teacup chihuahua, as it gives the impression that they are a distinct type of chihuahua. Just be aware that the term usually refers to a smaller than average chihuahua. Some chihuahuas simply turn out smaller than others, and many chihuahuas can fit inside of a teacup, especially when they are young, but they are still just a chihuahua. Number 7. The Fawn Chihuahua. Fawn Chihuahua stands for several types of chihuahua. It's not a breed, they are standard in height and sizes, just they are always in fawn color. Fawn is a color very common for little chihuahuas and they come in several varieties like a sable fawn and blue fawn. Fawn is the number one color for these little furry dogs and if you hear that someone is talking about fawn chihuahua, they're simply talking about its coat. Lately, people are talking a lot about pear-headed chihuahuas that are relatively young and unfamiliar. This type of chihuahua is the most unpopular chihuahua type and also an unknown type. Pear-headed chihuahua is least desirable when compared with an apple-headed and a deer-headed chihuahua. This type has flat skulls and larger and longer muzzles. These chihuahuas are bigger when compared to others and it's mostly thanks to reproduction between deer-head chihuahuas and apple-head chihuahuas. Dog Facts About Chihuahua Did you know, Taco Bell employed a chihuahua for its commercials? In the 1990s, Taco Bell employed a real chihuahua for their commercials. Born in 1994, Gidget the Chihuahua filmed its first commercial with Taco Bell for its debut in 1997. Gidget was voiced by Carlos Alazraki and had the famous catchphrase, Yo quiero Taco Bell, which translates from Spanish to mean, I want Taco Bell. This was just the start of Gidget's career as she went on to feature in the 2003 movie, Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde, as Bruiser's mom. Sadly Gidget was euthanized at her home on July 21, 2009, following a stroke. She died at age 15. Also, did you know, chihuahuas are useful service dogs because of their size? The world's smallest sniffer dog is a chihuahua crossbreed. You might think that a sniffer dog needs to be big and tough looking, to scare criminals, but not in all cases. Midge is the world's smallest police dog working as a police K-9 in Geauga County Sheriff's Office, Chardon, Ohio, USA. Midge passed her narcotics dog training on November 7, 2006. She is small enough to search school lockers and inmates' property in country prisons. Now you know the different characteristics that you may come across when viewing the different Chihuahua breeds. They all offer huge personalities that emit confidence and self-reliance, which is one reason that this is a popular dog breed. The Chihuahua has more variations than any other, which is nice if you own one or plan to bring one into the family. You can have a unique dog that fits your preferences for color, size, and shape. That concludes the 7 different sorts of Chihuahuas. Please tell us in the comment which of these adorable types you'd prefer to own. Also, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more dog videos. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the